There's another view in Agatha, and it's called the Arranging View, which is the view that we're more and more likely to familiar with. Does anyone remember where that Arranging View is, where, where, where actually the Arranging View is? Isn't it like on the top right? So yeah. yeah. Let's see that. Yeah. Two little symbols there, okay? So that, that symbol, and we've got that symbol. When I click that symbol, it might look a little bit more familiar to you in terms of how the logic is set up. This time, now you've got a sine line on the bottom left to right. Start counting from top to bottom and so on. You can hide that little bit again there, you don't care about that. The only difference between this and logic which throws people is your inspector or the information about the track is on the right hand side. It's like all those Arabic is written, like from right to left. Sorry. Um, so the timeline will start. If I press play, you'll see a timeline start uh, there and it will progressively move depending on the tempo and so on. Part two, part three. Part one, part two, and so on. Okay, there's nothing really I can say. Okay, but that's a time. So you should be familiar with that set. That's a narrow set. It's very much suited to the case. Yeah? So the idea is we've got two signals, we've got two instruments. You know, we're, we're, we're using audio one and two here. Okay, to make it simple, just so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to clip on that and I'm going to rename and I'm just going to uh, label it as number two and I'm going to label that as number three. Just so we keep all the numerical sequence the same, it doesn't confuse you. Number two, number three. Okay. That makes sense because we haven't got a number one in the back of the pack, so we're changing the numbers to suit what we have got now. Two correlates of two, two, two or all the time. That makes it a bit easier. Another thing we need to do now is we need to set our inputs and outputs to make sure that the software is set, that the, the preferences within the software are set to receive the signal from the sound card. Okay? Signals are coming from depth, yeah, but you can see the laptop so, so it doesn't know that you've got a mixing pack connected to it. Huh? Have a banana connected to that, or it doesn't really, really, really matter, okay? Because the laptop knows that we have a sound card connected to it, so it doesn't matter the input that we're going to be choosing, okay? Does anyone remember where the input and output buttons tab is? They're so important, and everybody says it, but you can't find that. And these are the things where you have to, you know, it's not something that you can find your way around, you have to know these specific things which are quite important. Anyone remember that? Yes, Stefan, you seem to have a. Is it like input and output? Um, it's. Can, it, will, it will be in that area. The information will appear in that area when we select the questions. It's there. It's very small. It says I.O. Oh. And if you, if you don't know it's there, you'll miss it. Okay? Little I.O. When you press it, it lights up. Okay? And it will give you some more options here then, which is great. Okay? I'm just going to widen the contrast out a little bit. Put a little bit more room there. Okay, so we've got the maps now. The top two boxes are the input to that channel. Where do you want the input to that channel to come from? The bottom two box, the bottom two boxes, one is grayed out at the moment, I'll show you why, are where we want to send the signal. Well, we're not particularly bothered about sending the signal anywhere. All we want the software to do at the moment is to receive the signal from here. Okay? We don't want to send it anywhere at the moment. Okay? We don't need to listen to it. We've got a full band playing over there. We don't want to listen to it. Oh, we're going to be recording it. Plus, it's listening to it at the same time. What are you listening to? The live band or the recording? All we need to make sure is that our levels are there. So, that's what I'm saying. so external means the sound card. Okay? Simple as that. It says EXT. Yeah. 